Indulge us as we get a taste of the celebrity lifestyle sweetened by Magnum ice cream. What's up guys, Nikki Novak here for the Young Hollywood Network with NFL star Takeo Spikes. What's up? <laughs> Why are you laughing I at me? Let's go, let's go, let's go. I almost had the burpees then. Well, before we started rolling, Takiyah was indulging in the off season and eating some popcorn. Yeah, and it was very good too. We take care of you at Young Hollywood. Is it your 14th season in the my NFL? Fifth, just finished my 14th, 14th year, my 15th year coming up. How do you maintain such longevity in the uh, business? God's grace, His blessings. Uh, and I, I do a lot throughout the off season. A lot of times, a lot of players, when they're done, they're done. But it, it actually hurts me more to sit around after the season is over with and not do anything, so I have to consistently stay moving, uh, even, if it's just, even if it's just doing cardio. Ooh. Ooh. Gotta be quick, gotta be quick. Sometimes we mix it up, one leg. I saw something online, it was like a mic'd up, and they were talking, they were showing you within the game, and it was fascinating because you pump your teammates up a lot. Like you are, you're great for that, you're sort of because you're the veteran, you yeah. sort of lead them. At the minimum, you're gonna go to the semifinals every year. Win what would you do like if you were going to pump me up pre-interview? Pre-interview? Yeah. You, you know what I would tell you? What would you tell me? I would look you in your eyes and I would say, look, you only have one shot. And you have to imagine this shot will be able to get you the, to, to have the opportunity to win an Oscar. So with this one time, what would you, what would you do? This is gonna be the best interview of my life. The locker room. And to me, that's like the big unknown. Like, what do you guys talk about in the locker? I don't mean after the game. <laughs> I'm talking halftime. When you're winning big versus losing big versus you're in a close game. Like, does it change? Like, oh, what it is, changes. Yeah. It, it, it changes. It, it goes sometimes from, from, you know, good job. You see the high fives. Uh, then when you're in the middle of a rut to where you know you should be beating this team, then it goes to, look, man, you need to pick it up. Or look, man, we need to pick it up. And then even sometimes if one of the guys who you know that you're counting on and he's usually the bell cow, and if he's not playing well, then it's... What's the bell cow? Whether he's the guy who, you know, if we win 90% of the time, it's because of you, you know? So uh, he's the guy that makes the plays. So it's like, man, man, we need him to pick it up. We need him to pick it up. We want to win. So I have a little demonstration for you. You what got really famous for your sack dance. Do not ask me to dance. I'm going to do it. Now. I'm going to do gonna your do sack it. dance. I'm going to do a seated version of your sack dance. Let me see you do a seated version, and it better be good, too. Are you ready? Let's go. Ah. <laughs> How was I? On a scale of 10, one to 10? Yeah. Six. If you were standing up, you probably would have got an eight. <laughs> By showing up, you definitely get a five. So I really only got one extra point for the performance. I got a five by just doing it. That's pretty sad. Up, if you stand up though, you would at least have an eight. I heard you like chick flicks. No, don't <laughs> do me like that. I'm doing you like that. What are your favorites? Was it the notebook I heard? Was yeah. it something about Wait, what was the other, Time Traveler's Wife? It's one of my favorites. Oh, you know what, I just saw another one. What? The Vow. Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum. We've talked to Channing before. Have you? Yes, and Rachel that. McAdams. She was also in The yeah. Notebook. You must be a Rachel yeah. McAdams fan. I'm, I'm kind of sweet on her. <laughs> I, I, I love I her love work. the lingo, I love the lingo. I love her work. So we have some Twitter questions for you. Are these some good ones? There are some really good ones. Yeah. First question, what feels better, a sack, an interception, or a touchdown? What feels the best? Well, of course, I ha I've, I've had all three. You've had all three. Touchdown. Really? I even did. though you're a defensive player. Even though I'm a defensive player, the reason why, because you have a lot of opportunities to get the sack and the, and the interception. But if you can get an interception and run it all the way back for a touchdown, to me, that's, that's, that's one of the most gratifying things of playing the defensive football, because that ain't you're not expected to do that. And so when you get in the end zone, it's pretty much like, all eyes on me. Your TD, you know, like I did that. Your TD dance then comes into play. Yeah. Do you indulge? Because you know, like when you're in your off season and you have like time to yourself, are you, right. is there anything that you're really into? Is it cars? Is it what's, what's? No, I'm not big into cars. I just. Uh, Besides friend, popcorn. The one thing that I will treat myself and is I really don't like putting a price tag on it is traveling. 
I love going to Europe. You just feel so free. You just, you feel like something over there, you know? So I love traveling, love going to places to where I can't see other Americans. Oh, wow. Getting away from it all. Now that's, that's a vacation. That's the type of vacation you want. Do you have any pregame rituals? Any superstitious rituals? Anything that you do? Uh, yeah, I do. I, I've been doing this ever since 1999. Before every game in the morning, I always, regardless of how early it's played, I always have uh, a baked pork chop or a fried pork chop. Nice. And this is the Southern boy coming out. Breakfast of champions. It is the breakfast of champions. And I'm still going. And you are the champion, TKO. Thank you so much for coming in. Great chat. I you. appreciate the opportunity. I will next time improve my dance. I, I told you, if you stand up, you would have had at least an eight. Here we go. Eight. See, you got an eight already. I can't. I'm stuck. I'm stuck to the cap.